That's oh, okay. I um, didn't even know it. And A- 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 up and coming in sports, man. That tra- they track team is something major. Man. Oh, yeah. The same going to take over, bro. That's the old the old motto. Yeah. Um, the same going to take over. Yeah. And it's about time we got back to that. Right. Honestly, I think, um, I don't know what happened when I started, but Auntie had a bad rep. Um, they had like a losing mentality. Um, it's just like with demographics, you got cultures, you got different areas, you know, where you just know it's not a good area. It's just a, a culture that everybody accepts. But um, like you said, just endurance and adapting, learning how to do so, um, just tying that to what you were saying. Right. We <clears throat> um, having the fortitude to be able to go through that, go through that struggle and gain those intangibles from that. I honestly think now it's like, what can we do or, you know, what are we going to do with that information, with that knowledge? How are you going to pass it on? Um, and I know we're talking about sports. Um, I have uh, mixed feelings about sports, if you ask me. Um, been an athlete my whole life, just like I said. Love football, love football. I mean, you know that. Um, but as I've gotten older, it's my biggest thing is like, what's next? You know, what's the transition? Like you said, we, you have a family of athletes, but what else? I got the same thing with me. You know what I mean? Right, right. Are we going to just be that, you know, just that, that token athlete, that token guy, whatever, that is kind of entertainment, or are we going to take it to the next step? Like, you got I like you brought him on here, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I like his perspective. Um, I'm talking to you, brother. Yeah, but, I like, like um, just, like, look at LeBron. Look at, you know, Kobe before they he, killed they him. They started doing um, all kind of stuff just outside of athletics. 100%. Yeah. He's, a, he's still in his athlete. He's still, I mean, he's still an athlete. He's still in his prime. But, you know, one of the things that just that they talked about is he's a part owner of, uh, what was it, the Red Sox? Like, that is, that yeah, is, I just saw that. It's, it's pioneering. Yeah. It's, it's not, on, you know, the last couple generations, you go in, you're your athlete, you enjoy the accolades, you spend all your money, and then you see some of these same people that we once, you know, revered as heroes working in Walmart or working in, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, you see that a lot. You do. So, what's, what, for me, that's where I said I started, you know, looking at what's the next step, man. Right. You know, I took, I forgot it was one guy, um, I don't even remember, and I'm, I should have did my research, you know, just for the sake of the video, but. Um, I think he was a linebacker, and he started his career, was doing great, but within like two years, he retired. Like, mm-hmm. he wasn't injured, nothing was wrong. Go back home, and he ain't doing much of yeah. nothing, well, to be honest, man. He retired for his brain, though. He didn't retire because he was done with it. He retired because he said, okay, I got what I got from the league, got the experience, but now let me go do something else. And further, um, because when you, what's NFL mean? Like, what's the acronym, acronym mean? Instead of the National Football League. Not for long, not for long. Yeah, you know right. what I mean. Right, average right, career, right, right. like three, four years. Average career. Running back. Yeah, you know yeah. I mean, yeah. unless you're in a position where you're not getting hit and stuff like so, that. I mean, you think about it. You do four years of school, twenty six. You got the rest. Of, you got the rest of your life, yo. <laughs> you got to figure out a plan. Like for real, it's more than football, more than sports. Yeah, yeah. and like I said, I love sports and I love what it brings. It's a, a beautiful segue for us to get to uh, the individual, get to the adolescent or, 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 or whatnot, but. With us, you know, um, I just use this for a minute, I'm digressing by the way, but um, one thing I always said that I will always give my children more than what my dad gave me because that's what he strived for, you know, with us. Same thing when it comes to life and sports. Now their shoes on the other foot. We're not kids anymore. So what are we going to do to Shout give more? Shout out that more? you said that. Like, matter of fact, the other day I just called and um, had uh, set up my will life insurance for my child because a lot of people don't do that. Y'all yep. need to do that for your kids. You know what I mean? Life, you can't take it for granted. I might, I might not be here tomorrow. If I don't have nothing set up, yo, what's good? What's left for my son? You feel me? Facts. Facts. Yeah, yeah, so shout out. We need to get on top of that. Man. thousand percent. Yeah. And th- that you said that, um, that's just another way to ensure that we're, passion- we're passing generational wealth instead of debt. You know, other, gener- uh, not other generations, but other, um, ethnicities they talk about that stuff daily you know it is it, 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 it they grow up with the conversation they grow up with the conversation um my girlfriend uh her dad come from asian background so with their background i like us so we're 18 oh you're 18 you grow up mm-hmm. try to get out the house mm-hmm. um their women the Asian community don't let the women leave home until they're married, mm-hmm. so they can be thirty something because they want to make sure you got a, a stability. Mm-hmm. It's even like if you go and you see, you go to a block and you see the uh, 
Korean restaurant next door. You see the uh, laundry mat is owned by them, and you might see the uh, yes, sir. Salon. Yes, sir. But that that's how they do. They don't. And you you touched on it, generational wealth. Like when I set out that life insurance and and um you know on um, the will. But yeah, we try to kick them out. They 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 try to keep everything family connected. Mm -hmm. And the crazy part is, us as African Americans. We have the most talent out of anybody. Like music, everybody want to listen to our music. Uh, how we dress, everybody want to dress like us. Everybody want to dance like us. Everybody want to be athletes. They want to look like us. <laughs> yeah, fact. Yeah. Like, yeah. Nah, you said it. I yeah. mean, I, I'm just trying and to. I, and, I, and, and like, even like we're here today, man. My man behind the camera. Um, you know, he's, he's speaking a lot of knowledge to us. Entrepreneurship, athletes. Like, it's just a lot of talent here. And you got, we got to work together and build together. A thousand percent. Hundred percent. That was the only thing that's stopping us. I'm gonna you. I'm sorry. No, you good. The only thing that's stopping us good. is action. You know, you you see somebody post something, or you see a video pop up or a commercial. Oh man, that's a great idea. Me and my boy was talking about that. That's crazy. Why we ain't do nothing with it? Why you know we talk about stuff all the time, but you know, just in our generation, our culture, we don't necessarily put the feet down on the pavement and and do stuff. Like everybody wants to be a part of a cause, but you want to actually follow through to see it in its entirety. Like look at the Black Lives Movement, the the riots, all that stuff like that. Where is it at right now? Nowhere. Yeah. They're still. They're still. People are still getting laid down to this day. You got, you got a good point. Where is it? It's, it's quiet right now. So somehow we need to be vocal. Though. Uh, you don't. And 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 yeah. you don't necessarily have to go out in the streets right, and do right, right, and right, to get right. the point across. But what are we doing? And I mean, honestly, it's, it's you got to attack the legislature. Just I mean, I'm digressing all over the place, but no, no, no. that's that's just yeah, something that yeah. you got to do. Like you said, we're so talented, just as talented we are in our fashions. There are people who are who live and die by politics. You know, they're politicians through and through, but they don't have enough wherewithal or not even enough wherewithal, enough courage to go out there and start fighting. You know what I mean? Right. The right way. If we had, if we're backing everybody, I mean, I look, I got a hundred people behind me. I ain't I ain't scared no more. Versus me by myself doing or thinking I'm the only one that's thinking like this, um, but and then we talk about it all the time. It it baffles me how we're sitting here, young, talented, but we constantly fund other people who are already financially fit right. and don't care if we buy their stuff or not. How many black artists, you know, how many black clothing, how many black owned businesses um, and cultures? I mean, that are that are out there within our culture, but we're not supporting them. Right. You know what I mean? Like that, I, and that's not on us, you know, individually, but at the same time it is. Because think about it, if, we, if that was, if everything you had on was black owned, how many millionaires did, did you just stimulate? Yeah. Same thing with me, same thing with you. Like, right. y'all look at all the rappers and stuff and this, I mean, you, you do what you want to do with your money, but dang, all it takes is right. one person, if J. Cole wore that, which I, I love J. Cole, because he is on his joint when it comes to supporting black right. people, but if J. Cole wore that one time, Jay-Z wore that one that's, time. That's black on right there. Yeah. Nah, yeah. Man, shout out to Lion the Black. Because they showing you love right, today, right, bro. Right. I just put the G on these Balenciagas and they done made some money off you. See, you see? <laughs> right, 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 right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. You got the Lex on too? I got long. I, got, I ain't got the Lex on. You got the Lex on, but you know, that's you know, you're supporting the cause. Right. Nah, you're supporting the cause and we got her popped in the garage, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah. You know, hey, when Rolex get that athletic get watch, Holla at me, man. <laughs> why, don't you make, why don't you make it athletic? That's watch? what I'm saying, though. That's get, what I'm saying. Forget Rolex. I don't know if they're not going to come. Forget Rolex. Forget <laughs> all this. This who is this? Um, Invicta. Forget all of them. Get with, a, get with a supplier and build a watch. And now you have a black owned business who supplies that. And boom, we ain't got to buy it no more. Right. So many, how many, how many people, how many designers have that have to come out and say, we don't like black people. We don't want them to buy our clothes. Of, a lot of them and we still buying them. Tommy Hilfiger, Tommy, Polo, yeah. Gucci. It's like, yeah. uh, what? Remember when they when Gucci would had the blackface whole little uh, little. Oh, nice. nice. oh no, I do remember that. Yeah, you know what he's talking about? Yes. When they had the uh, it was like a turtleneck, but it was a blackface. Oh on. yeah, yeah, yeah. Just yeah, but yeah. they're they're yeah, doing I remember. That. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, it's. When you start it's to tap in, yeah. yeah, you just see, like, we just, it's, at the end of the day, until we own the game, until we can control the game, we're always going to be players, and therefore you always have to, you know, you're susceptible to the, 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 the master of the game. 
the referee or whatever you want to you right, 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 call it. Right, right. And that that is yes, the sir. that's the game changer if you ask me. Like right. you know, you've right. seen these memes, you know, for example, Ross. I love Ross. Instead of me going to Ross all the time and supporting them, why don't you buy a Ross? You know, invest in the stocks and buy your own Ross. And then you can go and get your stuff for free or whatever. So I was just reading the book. I can't even think of the name right now. Uh, it's a it's a it's a black guy that wrote it about what it takes to be a millionaire. Okay. And it's so many stories. Like you have people that were police officers, uh, uh, teachers, and they're millionaires because they they live within the money. Like it's a good book though. But um, it said that over eighty percent of millionaires come from low or middle income home. Yeah. So a lot of people they like they got a mentality of like, right. oh, if you you made that because uh you were born with a silver spoon or your pa or your family passes down. No, these people actually work for it. And so people go with the mindset, oh, um, I can't be a millionaire because it wasn't handed to me. Eighty percent of millionaires they took came it. from middle yeah, they took it. They took it. Like you just said from the very yeah. beginning, it's a lot of taking going on. A lot of taking, yeah. Every and every not say pandemic, but every crash, every crisis when it comes to the market, there are millionaires and billionaires born out of that. Yeah. Opportunists, for real. What was the name of that book? I don't remember. We'll get it downstairs. Okay. I'm going to show you. I got, it. I got okay. it downstairs. I'm going to show it to you. It's a good book. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. man, but reading books is important, man. Um, my dog actually tapped me back into that. I, I didn't really grow up like reading. That was never a hobby of mine. Until I got into high school and I was actually more so challenged with the have to, you know what I'm saying? Because situations where there's a lot of things that could be taken away from me. I mean, I know you know, but I went to uh, military school in high school. Shout out for Game Military Academy, man. Much love. I learned a lot about my culture with that. And I thank him for that. I thought it was punishment coming up. I was like, yo, this dude long as hell. I got to read books in the summer, you feel me? I'm getting punished and they helped me learn a lot, you feel me? Out and working and I spent time in the military. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, for, sorry. I forgot. Now you know I stopped funny. reading, yo. Now you know what's funny? You know, I think you came to my house for a week in the summer and I was like, bro, why, why the fuck are you reading this book, bro? <laughs> <laughs> you're like, oh, you're like, you're like, no, no, I gotta read this book, man, for this class. I might have did that, It really yo. wasn't probably for no damn class. Right. Right. I might have did that, yo. It's all good, that, though, man. I remember you and T, you just be, nigga, you'd be about 75% through that, you know, <laughs> with your finger in that, you know, the back seat, we stepping out, you got the light on in the club, <laughs> like, that was not the same, no. <laughs> hey, well, no, that's what's hey, up, remember, though, man. Hold on, bro. Remember when we went to Love Nightclub, we went to the club, and uh, T pissed me off, I smacked him in the club, yo. Bro. <laughs> Where's I love? said, we in D.C., club? D.C. Oh, yeah. I said, that's not familiar. Bro, Love Nightclub in D.C. was the spot. That's the bro, best. Bro, make you know, sure you get this. Four levels, yo. Love Nightclub.